we've all had to deal with someone difficult in our lives. It's how we handle them that really matters. Dr. John Townsend is here. He's the author of the book, Handling Difficult People, What to Do When People Push Your Buttons. Uh, I know my mom always said, just kill them with kindness, Lauren. That doesn't always work, right? Some of them don't go away. <laughs> no, I know. I've learned that. All right. So the first thing you, you, you say that people have to do is you have to diagnose the disease. What does that mean? In other words, there are different ways that people push our buttons. Some people are very kind of controlling. They won't listen. Some people into themselves and, you know, kind of like don't, don't think about your frame of reference. Some people are sort of indirect and, and passive. And so you've got to figure out which, which button are they pushing because the way I handle it is going to really change the way that um, I look at things. Do you think most of the people that are pushing buttons know they're pushing buttons? No. No, no, no you don't no, even think that? No, oh, no. really? Yeah, some do, and they say, please stop me. But most people kind of go, well, what's it? what are you talking about? Yeah, How do I right. rub you the wrong way? They never know. OK, so the second thing you say is is decide what you want and then and, and what, what exactly you want to aim for then. Yeah, in other words, to, to tell somebody, well, stop being a lunatic, is not really helpful, <laughs> right? And you're, they're probably going to look at you and go off, huh? You got it, right. And th think you're even crazier. Right, but, but if you say, what do I want? Well, I want more vulnerability, or I want more equal relationship, or I want you to ask me about myself, or me to ask me about you. If you think it in positive terms, here's what I desire from my adult child, or from my dependent child, from my spouse. People are more likely to do it. You, you got to be positive about what you want and ask for. Okay. All right. And then you say take a stance. I mean, know know what you want and and stand up. And for it. say what you want and say this is really important to me. A lot of times people will say, well, you know, I said something to them and I and then I said it might be a good idea if you you know um, were nicer to me. Well, right. nobody does it. But when you say eyeball to eyeball, can we have a meeting about it? Can we have coffee? This is very important to me. The more emphasis you put on it, the more they're, mm. uh, oh, they're serious about it. So and and probably will actually listen and stop and listen you and never know, know exactly what the person was talking. <laughs> well, at least that's what you hope for, right? <laughs> and and really exactly how you say things is really important, yes, right? Yes. You, you mentioned that um, you, you really, it's good to say something positive. So. Yeah. Yeah, I like to go in with a we. This is a win-win here. If you'll do this, if you'll not, you know, not criticize me so much, or if you'll be positive with me, I will be with you. Instead of, I've got it all together, and you're the project, nobody likes that. <laughs> or the problem. Or the problem. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah, okay. Make it a we. And act with confidence yeah. is another thing that you really push in this book. Yeah, in other words, people really listen when you, they kind of feel like you've done your homework. You've mm -hmm. thought about it, you have some examples of it, here's mm -hmm. some things I specifically want, the people are more likely to go along. Mm, so definitely having, a, having examples, I think that's probably really important. Do the homework, come and up then, with some examples. Do you give other consequences if it happens again? I mean, how, what do you do well, when it happens Well, think about parents. <laughs> and the parents always say, look, don't hit your brother on the head. And they say it a couple of times. And then when you're still hitting your brother on the head, you're in timeout. Right. So sometimes our friends have to be in timeout. Oh, really? So what, might, do you, what do you suggest for you know, something you like that? You know, when you take that tone of voice, I'll probably have to leave the room. Or oh. when you don't pay attention to uh, what we're doing with the kids, I might take a drive around the block or whatever. Sometimes right. people don't listen to words, they listen Action. to actions. Mm, good point. So